Okay, um, when you run Tuner Studio for the first time, you just installed it, um, you'll get this create new project uh, window up. Uh, basically, it defaults to my car. Now, I mean, you can call it whatever you like, keep it as my car, but um, that's the project file directory that that'll be that'll generate. So, if you've got more than one car, you could call it whatever the car is or whatever. Um, you also got ECU definition. Um, this one here tries to uh, tells what directory it's going to be, and we're going to keep it my documents. Uh, that's the default. Um, basically, on my Mega Squirts, I've used uh, on MS1 Mega Squirts. Um, I use the O29Y4, O29Y3 code. So if you run MS1, you want that one. Um, if you're running MS2, I've used recently for the last one year, 18 months, I've used um, MS2 extra release. 2.1.0p. If it's a sequential one or um, semi-sequential one that you've um, had off of me, or you're going to um, do another, use a different code. Select other, and then this dotted box there. Then you can find the file, and you just select the any file for that um, code. So basically, when you download the code, the ini file is, is within that directory that you've downloaded the code into. So um, on, like I said, on the se sequential ones uh, that I sell the MS2s, um, these aren't proper releases; these are beta releases. So the disk on the disk that I supply will be a directory with MS2 extra sequential. Uh, will be on the disk. So just select the any file from within there and click next and then select if you've got wide band, narrow band, lambda sensor. I'm going to leave that at narrow band for now. Lambda display, you can have it in AFR, air fuel ratio or in lambda, uh, temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, leave the can commands as deactivated. Everything else leave as standard click next um, then it, uh, configuration is my car COM port 1 select what COM port you're using board rate is 11.5200 MS2 and MS3 and it's 9600 for MS1 then if you've got the Megasquirt connected you can click text, test port and that should come up success and click next and you can select a dashboard there's several dashboards here to try the analog one uh, it's different sorts of dashboards LED one I prefer the default myself but you can have a play with this anyhow so then click finish and that will load your project. <coughs> now if at any time you decide you want to change something you just simply go to the top and go file, project, project properties or you can generate a new property or you can open, if you've got more than one property you can open properties, uh, projects, big, those big ones. So as you can see I've got several projects here that I can open so um, I just call them by the code name, so that's my standard one, my MS2 version 2.1.0. But if I want to change any properties on that, say for instance, I want to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, project properties, just click on settings, and I can change the temperature, I can change the wideband, 